So to answer this question, first we need to know the number of moles of the formic acid and also the number of moles of sodium hydroxide they are reacting. And from the number of moles, we will have to know um, the final number of moles of the formic acid after the reaction. And from that, we'll have to find the final concentration of formic acid and also the final concentration of sodium format, which will form by the reaction of formic acid and sodium hydroxide. And using those two concentration, um, just uh, from the henderson hasselbeck equation, we can easily find the pH of the final buffer. So first find the number of moles of the formic acid. is simply the product of its concentration and volume so the concentration of formic acid is 0 0.25 molar or mole per liter times uh, the volume of the formic acid which is 150 milliliter or 0 0.150 liter And from here, we will find the number of moles as 0 0.0375. So this is the n number of moles of uh, the formic acid. And then number of moles of the sodium hydroxide will be the multiplication of its concentration which is 0 0.20 mole per liter times the volume which is 75 milliliter or 0 0.075 liter and from here we will get a value of 0 0.03 uh, 0 0.015 mole so this is the number of moles of sodium hydroxide now we'll have to set up the reaction equation so hcho2 will react with sodium hydroxide to give us sodium format plus water which is a liquid and all of the rest of them are aqueous now so the initial concentration if we form the i stable for this reaction the initial concentration of or the initial number of moles of hco2 was 0 0.0375 and initial number of moles for sodium hydroxide was 0 0.015 and the initial number of moles of sodium format formed was zero and since h2 is pure liquid we don't need to calculate uh, the values for that so the change in number of moles will be um, so since as we know that uh, formic acid is a weak acid it will not will not be dissociated completely so this much number of moles of sodium hydroxide will react with the same amount of the formic acid that means the change in the number of moles of formic acid will be um, this value minus this value 0 0.015 and then ultimately in the final or equilibrium solution we will get we will have the the concentration of the formic acid or the 
number of moles of the formic acid as 0 0.0225 and this will remain as same and then we will have um, 0 0.015 molar sodium format now so now this is our conjugate base formed and this is our acid so if we just use this number of moles of acid and its conjugate base in the henderson hasselbach equation we'll be able to find the ph of the buffer and but before um, that we also need to find the concentration of both of them or since the volume is equal here we don't need to find the concentration we can easily we can we can uh, use the number of moles directly in the henderson hasselbach equation pKa plus log of so as you know that it's basically uh, the concentration of base over the over the concentration of acid we can write also moles of base the number of moles of base over the number of moles of acid so this is valid when the volume of the base and acid are equal so here as after the reaction we have um, we are actually having the total volume same for both base and acid so we can write the equation as log of moles of base over moles of acid so the ka value for formic acid is a 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 4 so if we just take a negative log of that value 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 4 plus log of number of moles of base which is um, 0 0.015 and the number of moles of acid which is 0 0.0225 as we just calculated here and just solving this equation I will see that the pH for this buffer is 3.57. So this is the pH of the buffer solution formed in this solution.